it going, every oop, how's it going, everybody? It's Jimmy Perry from Powerlifting. That website, your go-to resource for all beginning powerlifting information. And today, I'm here to answer a question, which is sorry for my pick, but I'm going to get dreadlocks. Which will not really answer a question, but I'm going to do an FAQ for four or five questions for the bench press that I found. And the first question is: Does bench press increase your punching power? Um, quick answer to that. I mean, I, I, yeah, for me it has, and I, I'm like a guy, I use, I like to hit the heavy bag after, I, um, I'm a fan of boxing basically, and I like to hit the heavy bag after I do a workout for cardio, because I'm not really, I don't really like jogging and stuff like that, so, I like to hit the heavy bag, and, because it gets my heart rate up, and, you know, I just started doing this actually, I used to do like steady state, like walking and stuff like that, but I found that, you know, this gym I'm not have the heavy bag, and I'm like, hey, and I used to do this before, so I'm in hitting the heavy bag, and I have found that, since I've worked, like, to throw a solid punch from what I've seen and what I've been taught, to throw a solid punch and the bench press, you, you're using the same muscle groups. And you make, and when you bench, you making those muscle groups stronger. So, I mean, if you can add some torque to it and some leg drive to it, which is also something that you do in the bench press. So, if you basically can coordinate your muscles in a way that is uh, useful to, the, um, to punching, then I'm, yeah. It has, because I know my punches, I just knocked the uh, heavy bag down for the second time today, so I know, I know that I, I know I'm hitting harder, even though this one's lighter than what I'm used to, so that might be, that might play a factor, or play a part in it, because I'm used to like, uh, 20 pound, um, or no, 100 pound heavy bags, and this is like 60 or 75, and it's not, I'm just throwing it around, it's not like, but yeah, but it does, it, that's pretty much it. You can read the question. I'm going to link out to it in, um, in the description so you guys can see it. Um, so what are the ways to increase your bench press once you've plateaued? Well, I actually included a link to that um, because my bench press is plateauing. So I'm about to actually use this because I need to increase my bench press because it sucks to have a plateaued bench press. I included a couple of articles too that um, that answer this question. Um, is the military press safer than the bench press? Well, I mean, no. Safer for what? You're going heavy on any of these, you're putting yourself in danger. So, I mean, doing the movement is putting yourself in danger if you're not doing it correctly. So, I mean, safer for what? If you're saying safer for the shoulders, no, because it's shoulder dominant. Um, no, not, no. I put more in the answer, but no. So, why am I shaking when I bench press? Well, that could be a few reasons. I could, put a, I could tell you a few reasons for me. I shake after I max out and try and, like, go heavy again immediately afterwards. I, or I shake when I'm near max levels and, you know, I, sh I shake when I'm near max levels and lifting. I shake when I am lifting and I haven't eaten that day. I shake when I have too much caffeine in my system and I'm lifting. I shake when I don't have any caffeine. It could be a number of things is what I'm basically getting at. So what I've found, or I don't do this because I just, you know, I like to, I, I'm just, I suck with documenting things unless I'm doing stuff like this. So I found that, um, which is why I'm doing this. Um, I, or one of the reasons. One, what I found is that um, recording yourself, so you hear people say keep a log. Keep a log of how you've been feeling that day when you before you lifted. Keep a log of what you ate that night. Keep a log of what you ate that morning, what you did, basically before, immediately before going to the gym. So that you can, like, after a while, pinpoint exactly what it is that makes you feel a certain way when you do certain movements. And, yeah, that is helpful. Um... Yeah, actually, I think I might start doing, I'm going to try. I'm going to have the bullet point here or something. Because I, I, I jump a lot, so it's kind of difficult. My brain doesn't allow for it. I mean, I can focus, but my brain doesn't allow for it. Uh, what purpose does the incline bench press serve? I can tell you what it does for me. It works my upper pecs and my triceps and my sh up, my shoulder. Like, it's more do shoulder dominant, so I get a shoulder workout while also getting a feel for the pressing motion. Um, so it has a carryover to the flat bench for me. And I get to hit a part of my chest that I never hit. Not that I really care, but I just get to hit that part of my chest. So, yeah, that's what it does for me. This is the bench press FAQ part six. Because I got 29 questions on here. I think that's six. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, um, throw questions my way. I'm sure that I'm going to research them and answer them for you guys. Um, check out the Black Ebook of Power, check Black, Black Book of Powerlifting. If you subscribe to the website. I will give it to you for free. It's only 99 cents on Amazon. I'm going to do a audio recording of it. And I'm also going to do a... Uh
something in the future. Stay tuned. Um, give a like and a comment on this um, video. Subscribe to the channel if you like what I post. And yeah, hear from me next time. Peace.